Question number two. How will you empower young women and help them become more socially aware? Hello, good evening, everyone. Now with social media, this tool has been a driving force in all of us. But we have to draw a borderline so that this youth will not take advantage of the social media. We have to see the social media, like how it is, the way it is designed, and that is to unite people and never to divide us in the first place. We have to be responsible with history. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cebu Province. All right. In the band, in the says number five, correct? Yes, that's right. Question number five. Remember you have 30 seconds after I finish in, uh, reading the question. If during your reign as Miss Universe Philippines, things happen in your life that make you sad and uninspired, how would you be able to continue inspiring others? It is very evident that all of us went through difficulties during this pandemic, but it is also proof that we are able to rise to the occasion, and if anything happened to me during my reign, I will not give up and inspire others by rising to the problems that I am encountering and by inspiring them that whatever you're going through, you will be able to overcome it. Thank you so much, Cebu City. Okay, here we go with our next beautiful contestant, Tagig. Good evening, Katrina. Choose a number. Four. 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 What do you think is the most inspiring quality that a Miss Universe Philippines should possess and why? It would have to be the ability to have compassion and relate to other people. Because as we know, Miss Universe has to be able to connect from people in all different countries, from all different classes. So I would have to say relatability and compassion. Because as a Miss Universe, it's your job to inspire others and to genuinely want to help. Whether it be the organizations or any companies or groups of people. Galing din ito, Gil! There you go. Compassion and, of course, Katrina, the gig, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Could I? Could I please have number three? Number three, and some volume. On it sounds like we're just up here, like doing math. Three, eleven. In your journey to be Miss Universe Philippines, what has been the most inspiring part and why? Do people have myths for themselves? Especially during the pandemic, people have risen to overcome everything that they've gone through. And I'm someone, I've been incredibly privileged and I haven't had to go through that many issues in my life, but meeting so many people who have had so many battles and hearing their stories and hearing how they overcame them, that's what inspires me. That's what inspires me to continue to help the Filipinos in the way that I know how, which is through my advocacy, through architecture and heritage conservation. Thank you very much. Here's your question, are you ready? Yes. If you win the crown tonight, how will you inspire other women to get out of their comfort zone? Just me being here, I am getting out of my comfort zone. I am conquering my fear because I am afraid to talk in front of a lot of people. But I hope that through me, I get to inspire so many to do the same, to, to achieve their dreams, but to also reach for the universe. Thank you so much.